Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Glad to have you here as always. Uh, you know what I realized today? We're four days into December already. I haven't even touched my advent calendar. Uh, I haven't been making a lot of videos recently because my work schedule is basically doubled. Uh, it is peak season for warehouse jobs and stuff like that. So holidays, worst time of the year for us uh, work-wise. But also best time of the year for us work-wise because, you know, more hours, more money. So it takes a toll on you, though. Uh, today I am home resting for a, uh, a small lower back injury from, I don't know, like five months ago. It flared up again yesterday, so uh, I actually have some time to do this today. Um, and then I haven't been doing normal uh, uploads recently because we had the... If you've seen the last video, we've had the leak down here in the basement that I think it was the day after I posted that video, the maintenance guy came down and uh, poor guy spent six hours digging a hole outside to reach uh, where we have a pipe coming through our, our basement wall here that's been capped. And the first time it was uh, patched, they uh, put a lot of concrete around the crack that was going to that pipe. Um, I mean, yeah. Spent six hours digging down to that pipe, filling from the outside, and we put all the tables back, and then uh, it was pretty dry for a while. And then this past week, uh, it's been raining just as bad as it was, and it's still leaking. The, the kicker to that is the leak is about four feet below that pipe, so I don't think maintenance guy's going to be uh, digging a hole for that one. Uh, we'll get that figured out at some point. But until then, we have Advent Calendar. We got 25 little things, or 24, sorry. 24 things here. That's how uh, Advent Calendar works. Uh, I think I'm going to be doing, the, catching up with the first four here, and then, um, I don't know, maybe every few days do like the next five or so. Yeah, so basically every five days I'll just do the next five because, you know, Five times four, 20, then the 24, 24 days before Christmas. Math, it's fun. Uh, so <laughs> this is set 75366, clearly the Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar for 2023. Uh, MSRP is $45. Um, it is 10% off on the Lego website right now, but that doesn't mean anything because it's sold out on the website. But that also doesn't mean anything because you can get this basically everywhere. I think I got mine uh, Costco like over a month ago. I think it was 30 something, maybe 40. It was a little bit off because Costco. Um, but if you just look up the prices online, you got places listed wildly. I think there was one listing at Target for $20. I don't know. But then other Target listings are 35 Walmart's. The prices are all over the place. Basically, you can find this anywhere. Look around if you want to find a good deal. Um, that's kind of all the information to talk about on these things. Uh, they're usually little little builds, uh, little ships, little dioramas, a lot of minifigures. You, and you always get like a holiday. You can see here you got Palpatine with a uh, Christmas sweater. That's half of the reason why I even get these Advent calendars because these little minifigures are awesome. Uh, but let's just get into it. I don't exactly know what is in these four that I've... I've already cracked them open. haven't really checked. I do know one is... I, I do know what one is already because I looked. Uh, but let's do it. So um, something that I wanted to, to point out is that with these, if you get a minifigure, you usually get them with a little accessory, and then either the day before or the day after, you get a little mini build that that minifigure goes with. But for this one, you can see it here, but you get Omega, as they pronounce her name, and she gets this little thing. I'm not sure what it is. It might be kind of like a little sled thing. But typically, you get the figure with, I don't know, usually like a gun or a lightsaber or something, and then the next day, or the day before, like I said, would be the little extra build that they correspond to. But surprisingly enough, you know, day one you get both. So that's cool. 
Um, I have seen a lot of people do these where they build them without opening the package. And I, I will do that eventually. Maybe if I'll get like a second copy, I'll do that. But I like to grab the little extra pieces they have in these. Because sometimes you get some fun stuff and you can use those for accessories. I like to make sure their faces are lined up because uh, I, I don't have OCD, but basically do. And then there's Omega. This is actually the first one I have. And now I don't have to buy the Justifier to get her, which is great because that's a $170 set that is not worth the price tag. I, I don't think I've talked about it yet, but I will probably never get that set simply because it is, I don't think the... The price is justified. Boo -boo. Anywho, these are always real easy little builds. The instructions are like three steps. Some of them are kind of in chunks. But they're simple. They get to the point. Let's get these down here. Those here. Um, this is actually the first video I'm actually building something in the video. The, no, oh, excuse me. The first attempt I made at doing, oh, I goofed on that, at doing my very first video, which was a year before the video was actually posted, I, I did the, uh, the buildable brick, and uh, I was actually going through that and building it. And then uh, I gave up on trying to learn how to edit it. And so I just built the thing and then did a review of it. And that's uh, how I got the kind of content I do now. But these tiny things, there's plenty of time to, to do these little builds. And so we've got this little itty bitty sled, I guess. It's cute. Um, not really sure which direction it's supposed to to face. Probably, oh yeah, probably like that. So put her on there. Sorry about the lighting. And then here you go, Omega on a little. I, I think it's a sled. I'm assuming it is. That was really cute. All right, so that was. Door number one, we're gonna go over here to door number two. And this is, oh, look at that. It's the justifier. That's kind of ironic. But, you know, it makes sense. That's where you get her minifigure originally. And I dropped a piece. Little things go everywhere. There it is. Oh. I'll move these up forward. So it's always a little hard to see these instructions that the doors don't open all the way, but there we go. All right. And like I was saying with the last one, they do kind of chunk, so you get these small, like, sub assemblies. And they're pretty easy to figure out. I just, I really do enjoy the advent calendars, except for one part right here. You've got a big panel, not a panel, a, uh, a plate with a bunch of stuff on it. If you don't really pay attention to what you're doing, you're going to end up missing where things go, especially on those like that, where you got to take a second to really kind of look around the edges of the pieces they've got in there. See where things go. Put those there. Grab that. Those. No, this one goes a little further back. See, like right there, I didn't see 
there's this tiny little red dot here because you've got this piece right here. That one there kind of covers it. And there's a tiny little red dot. Like you can't even see that in the video. Tiny red dot, which means I put this piece too far forward to put it back. And exactly what I was saying, you got to be careful and actually really look tiny little details here. I think that's the only downside is that they have to consolidate this into a very small piece. And I almost put the piece on without having the connector on it. And then this goes there. And so the justifier, like, I'm going to talk about the big set, the, the actual play set of the justifier. Comes with some good minifigures. The design of the mechanism for this piece, the back part, where it goes up and down, um, I think that's pretty neat. I think, if I'm not mistaken, when you have this go down, the landing gear pops down. And when you put it up, the landing gear goes up. And it has this slot in the back where that mechanism, Technic pieces, uh, operate that mechanism. And it's a pretty cool design that they're able to do that. However, their execution wasn't so good because they left this huge strip right down the middle of the back of the ship. And it's like glaringly obvious that they could have covered that. And, uh, and then along the edges, it's just empty. There's no details on the side. And it's like, this is not, not good enough for like $170. Uh, Cause I do know that the, the at remake set that they came out with the same year had more pieces cost $30 less and was way better design. I actually got that set. I have one of the older ATTEs, but I got that one too because it came with great figures. It was very good. And uh, yeah, so here's the, the only justifier I'll own. And uh, you know, it gets the point across. You can tell it's what it is. This back is a little, a little big, but it has this, you know, swivel down feature that you get in the actual ship. And, um, I don't know if you noticed, but that sticks out a little lower than everywhere else. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's, uh, actually, I think it looks better this way. It reminds me a lot of the, um, I don't think it was the Freemakers. It might've been the Freemakers, uh, TV series, the big ship that they make. It's, it's actually like literally that profile. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, so that is the justifier for the second one. Uh, three is up here. We're going to do that. And this is, ah, I don't think you can see it up there, but this is Mandalorian's N1 Starfighter. And uh, this is actually uh, a Facebook post I saw this morning. Someone was doing this one. And that is what prompted me to remember that, oh, crap, it is December 4th. I'm way behind on the advent calendar. I completely forgot I even had this. Um, work has just been pummeling us. How does this even go on? Oh, there it is. Okay, so start with this. I'm just going to start with the middle and work my way back. There. And then this up here. The part where Grogu sits is right there with, with the bubble canopy. Yeah, we're getting there. Here is the cockpit. And then the back there. And then they're using a, a silver unicorn horn. I don't know if you see it, but it's the unicorn horn piece as the, uh, the tail there. So that's the back done. And let us 
Okay, so it looks like these go here in the front. These go on the sides. And again, sorry about the shadows. I got a light in the ceiling and then I got my camera in front of me and it kind of blocks the light. You got these up here. Ah, oh, that popped off. That's that's another little thing. These little little ships, they have pieces that kind of just pop off because space constraints, they're a little small. And you can't exactly put extra plates on to secure stuff. And that goes like that. We're almost there. This in the front, connect the faces. Uh, and then engine part. And that is the Mando's N1 Starfighter. That is adorable. That's really good. I like that. That is really, really cute. Some of the times they do just fantastic jobs getting these shapes. And then you get some extra pieces, like you've got this, it's kind of like a lance piece, a little extra, and then, hey, look at that, another unicorn horn. Those are always fun to have, they make great accessories, weapons and stuff like that. And a couple of these little extra bits, put those with the rest. And we have one more. Looks like we're about on track for time for a normal video. Run about 20 minutes, and uh, I was hoping this wouldn't take too long. And might I was thought it was going to be a little too short if I just did them individually. Why did I close that panel? I need to see the instructions. We are doing... Oh, we're doing like a little Christmas robot. That's good. Some... Um, I remember the last couple years they gave us like a gonk droid in one or two of them, actually. Little Christmas gonk droids. I dropped another piece. There it is. I know one of them, you, you build the gonk like he's a Christmas present. Um, and I think another one just was the gonk with a uh, Santa hat. Now this is new. I've never had a little sack piece. That's cool. I've never, never even seen that. You see that? It's cute. It's like a little trash bag, a little sack. That's, that's cool. It's interesting little bottom there. That's great. A little Santa sack. So starts off with this little, oh, I'm just going to call it like a hub. It's a modified, this is great. You can build omnidirectionally. It's fantastic. It's one of the best parts they've made. Let me put them there on the front. What is that? Okay, so I'm gonna go with this head first. There, there. Is this a pit droid? I think this is a pit droid. Oh, that's, that is really good. Yeah, this is a pit droid from uh, Phantom Menace. I always love those guys. They're basically only in there for slapstick humor in Phantom Menace movie. But they're cute. They're adorable. They uh, serve their purpose. And they're always really cool to see when you get them in a set for Lego. Um, I do have uh, Anakin's Pod Racer. I have the original... I believe I gotta it's in parts I gotta find all the pieces for that um, and put it together I also have the uh, the Gungan sub in pieces I've been trying to slowly dig through everything and find all those parts uh, but I I do have the original pod racer set and that came with a couple brick built pit droids and they're great they're super good. I mean, it kind of seems like it's a pit droid, but it's a little short. You got a bunch of extra pieces. I'm going to put this one on the back. You can't see the back, but 
We've got it. Might as well put it on there. And a lot of extra pieces here, but that's fine because these two, I use these in my, my droids a lot, so more the merrier. Let's get those out of the way. And then I always like to put all my little extras in one of these bags. With every set I do, I always, like the first one I do, I tear a small part of the corner, and then I use it to put all the extras in there. And then I can dig through those later for spare parts. But look at this little guy. Look at him. How cute is that? I mean, his proportions are a little, little off. His feet are really small. Um, in the old ones, they'd have one by twos down here for his feet. But a little Santa, little Santa guy. So we've got our four builds for the last couple days there. This has been fun. We got 20 more to go. So like I said earlier, I think I'm going to be built, uh, breaking them up into, you know, five at a time. That should give us, uh, what, four more videos until, uh, till Christmas day. So that should be fun. Um, and you know, like I said earlier, my work schedule has been real wonky lately. So I'm not going to be doing, um, more like, you know, regular uploads. Um, and then we also have to babysit a cat for my parents, but then we're also at work, so we can't really see the cat. But he, he's been with us for a little while before he was up in my parents' place, so it's not like he's going to be too stressed out. I mean, the cat we have already... They kind of get along, but we'll see. Uh, and then uh, the 21st is my wife's and I anniversary. 25th is Christmas week. Plus, we're working all the way up till Christmas Eve with these double hours. So it's been pretty hectic, and it's going to stay pretty hectic. But I'll try to squeeze in some videos in between everything and uh, look forward to those. Um, I'm certainly looking forward to all these little bits. Um, and maybe after I get this one done, uh, at some point through the year, I'll probably grab the other couple years, uh, advent calendars that I have and, and show some of those off. They're really good stuff, but you do get a little bit of a spoiler. We do have uh, a Palpatine, Christmas Palpatine with his throne. And, uh, you do have a Christmas sweater Ewok and you do have a Endor Leia, which I don't have an Endor Leia. And then I think this is the uh, the shield generator bunker on Endor. So this is overall kind of like a an Endor sub thing. I think last year had a Hoth sub thing. Um, but yeah, look forward to those. And I will see you next time. Uh, if you like it, subscribe. Like the video. Check out my other stuff. And uh, happy holidays, everybody. Bye-bye.